Next tonight, classrooms in West Seneca sitting empty for part of the school day today as students staged a walkout pushing back over possible district layoffs. These high schoolers hoping to make their voices heard days after their parents packed Tuesday's district board meeting. It was at that meeting that the interim superintendent revealed how many jobs may be on the line. He says more than 30 teachers and 17 support staff could be in jeopardy. The board will meet again Monday to finalize these cuts, but tonight, 7 News reporter Jordan Johnson bringing us the message these students have for district leaders. Chance of Save Our Staff filled the air outside of West Seneca West High School Friday morning. As students there and at West Seneca East walked out of class in a show of support for their teachers. This protest comes three days after interim superintendent Jeffrey Raby announced plans to lay off dozens of staff members in the district to close a nearly $5 million budget gap. Hearing about this made me really, really upset. I mean, this is people's livelihoods that we're talking about here. Honestly, really sad, and we really don't want to see them go. We love them. We want them to stay. At Tuesday's school board meeting, Raby announced 47 and a half positions would be cut through layoffs and not filling open positions. Pandemic grants to schools across the country expire at the end of the year, forcing schools like West Seneca to dip into surplus funds. Permanent substitute teacher Emma Taylor says she's worried for her future. It's absolutely heartbreaking as someone who is pursuing a career in education every day. Um, I went to West, um, so some of these teachers have inspired me to become a teacher. While West Seneca's struggles are serious, the financial picture in more than a dozen other districts is even worse. A fiscal stress report from the state comptroller's office lists two districts in western New York as susceptible to fiscal stress. Evans Brandt or Lakeshore Central School District and Hamburg. <laughs> Hamburg Central Schools plans to cut 20 positions by July 1st. Many of them teachers. It's upsetting. It's not their fault. We we see it every day that it's all over. It's Hamburg. It's all these places around here. That it's going to be more and more schools that are probably popping up around Western New York. So I mean, we're hoping that that's not the case. We're hoping that seeing the student support, staff support, makes some kind of difference, some kind of change. West Seneca's budget is not final. There will be another hearing on Tuesday. West Seneca residents will vote on that budget May 21st. I reached out to the school district, and they told me this: We understand the students' concerns. It is with students in mind that we formed our draft budget. There will be approximately 19 teaching layoffs and approximately 10 non-teaching layoffs. We will remain fiscally responsible and maintain our pre-COVID array of programs and opportunities for our students. The district announced Friday it will introduce its new superintendent at a special board of education meeting on Monday. We're a voice for West Seneca. Jordan Johnson, 7 News.